Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, TSP Rav Shiva. This is the Daily Sutra, guys. And today we have a really sad story, but it's something that seems to be a recurring story in the news. I cover these things because they are important. We have a 17-year-old kid. His name is Eric Cantu, who's actually fighting for his life right now. The officer who actually did the shooting of the 17-year-old boy eating his hamburger in the parking lot of McDonald's shot him nine times. He shot at the car. Uh, is now charged uh, in this uh, um, incident, and I believe he's been fired from the force as well. Uh, this was done in San Antonio, I believe, so he's now a former uh, officer in San Antonio, and uh, there's a lot of uh, things that you have to question, but let's watch the video first and see what, you know, what goes on here. Here at home, a former San Antonio police officer has been charged in the shooting of a teenager who was eating a hamburger in his car in a McDonald's parking lot. The former rookie officer, James Brennan, was charged with two counts of aggravated assault. 17-year-old Eric Cantu remains unconscious and is on life support, according to his family. So you can see here, um, that that's the, the young man that was shot. And if you look at the, the you saw the picture of the uh, officer, looks like a very young man as well um you can see the kid's not a criminal i mean to to be able to you know open fire on a, on a young man like that he also had a passenger a female that was sitting in the passenger side but thank god she was not harmed the thing is that incidents like this they really need to do a psychological evaluation on these people and find out more about them like what's going on in their minds what's their life been like even if they have good grades in college and they have a degree does not necessarily mean that you should be able to brandish a firearm with a badge and authority to use it because you don't know what the makeup of that person is and it's really hard to tell in society anyway i'm sure cops have a hard time looking at someone and deciding whether or not they're going to be dangerous or not but at the same time you should be able to tell when a young man is eating a burger in his car that he's really not that dangerous there are other ways that they could have gone about this the license plate you know look at the license plate that would have been the first thing run the license plate find out where he lives go there and apprehend him then you don't have to kill him you know you have to wonder what was going through this this as i'm going to say it again young man's mind the cop is also a young man what was going through his mind that he wanted to kill this kid i mean it's just like you know I, you want to know maybe I, I don't know what what could have provoked him like this but i don't really believe that there was any necessary reason to use lethal force shooting nine times at this kid you know i'm praying to god that he comes out of it alive look you have to pray for the guy that shot him too and hopefully that his heart will open up and that he won't make mistakes like this in the future you know i mean this is the world we live in everybody wants to use first thing lethal force to take care take, take care of a situ uh, situation you know that's the ultimate solution here in america and it seems like around the world now because everybody follows america right you know it just gets more and more ridiculous as it goes you know um all I can say, guys, is that, you know, I'm going to keep covering some of these stories. Of course, there's nothing funny in it. You know, uh, you know, I, I, I am a comedian. I do say funny things. Uh, I am a yogi as well. But sometimes when you see things like this, it's just depressing, man. You know, and it's like really disheartening to watch. But guys, I hope you really enjoy some of the things that I put on here. And uh, if you want to see more in the future, please hit that like and subscribe button. I will be always talking about things that we need to talk about. And I won't hold back even though we're being censored quite a bit and uh it's just part of what we have to go through guys but i'll see you in the next video and uh, everybody stay safe out there and uh try to be kind to everybody treat others the way you want to be treated that's the golden rule guys all right talk to you then bye-bye